Hey YouTube, so it's Ray. So you may have noticed that last week this channel lacked videos, and that's because I was down south for the week from Monday to yesterday, Monday, and I was visiting this weird kid whose name may or may not be Paul, and who also may or may not be the other person on this channel. Um, but yeah, I visited Paul last week. Um, I just got back yesterday. And this video, I suppose, will be a recap, short recap, of what happened that week. So, let's see. I got there on Monday. I took, a, I took like a 1 o'clock flight, I'm, I think. I don't really remember. I think it was 1 o'clock. Yeah. So, I took a 1 o'clock flight, and it was a nice flight, really short. Um, it was about an hour and seven minutes, <clears throat> and it was really nice. I love flying, personally, but enough about that. <clears throat> then Paul picked me up from the airport, Paul and his mom, they picked me up from the airport, and we went back to his house, which is huge, yeah, um, really huge, really beautiful, I loved it. Um, <sighs> North Carolina is hot, though, really hot, yeah, and I was expecting it to be hot, just not that hot, yeah. <laughs> So, like, like normal temperatures that down there are, like, 95 to, like, 100-something. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, we hung out. Um, he taught me how to play t chess, which he proceeded to beat me in every single day. Um, he said that I was getting better, but probably not. He's just lying because he wants me to feel better, but whatever, whatever. I just rhymed. Do you know it? Do you know it? And I'm a poet. I'm a poet. I'm a poet. I'm gonna stop. Anyway, I say anyway a lot. I'm gonna try and not. I just rhymed again. Okay, so he taught me how to play chess. We also watched Big Brother a lot. We watched 90s um, TV on Teen Nick that everyone's talking about. I don't know if you know, but they're playing 90s music. I mean, 90s. Uh, shows on T Nick every night from like 12 to 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> so then we also watched a very Potter musical. We watched Jude Where's My Car. One night we were scared of a banshee and we freaked each other out and we ended up I ended up sleeping in his room because because we were scared. <laughs> We are probably the two biggest scaredy cats. And then we were wondering why no one in the house, no one else in the house cared what was going on or was worried at all. No one. Um, and then we also got scared by fire alarms and almost Peter Pants, probably. I know I did, almost. And we did a lot. Like, we played a lot of games and... Uh, we played slaps just because I wanted to hit him, and I learned how to play Scopa. I learned how to play a lot of new games, like Puerto Rico and Scopa and chess. Yeah, a lot of fun. So, what else? Then, I don't know, the week was awesome because me and Paul apparently are as good, like, good enough friends so that none of that, none of the stuff that happened was awkward. Like, we had good time. And even when I left, wasn't annoyed with him. That's interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is weird silence. I'm gonna keep talking right now. So, yeah, and then I came back yesterday, and the airport was beautiful. That's probably not important. Um, but yeah. I love the feeling of airports. I don't know if anybody else feels like that, but I love the feeling that everyone in the airport is going to a different destination, whether it be like in the nation or abroad. It's just really cool that someone else in the airport may be going on like a month trip to Germany and someone else might be going on a day trip to like LA or something. I don't know. It's really cool to me. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but... I think it's really cool that in an airport everyone has different destinations, but we're all in the same place. I don't know. And I love the feeling of going somewhere and being on a plane. And Planes are awesome to me. Some people are afraid of them, but I love looking out the window when we take off and landing. And 
It's so great. And my computer screen just went off because I've been talking for five minutes. Sorry, um, but this might be a long video. Um, also, I took like no pictures from the week at all, which I should have, I feel like, because I hardly ever see Paul now. But I did take one video, and I'm going to link that right here, right now. Click right here if you want to see the video. Or it's going to be in the down bar, but right here. This is a video of Paul that is kind of funny. I think it's hilarious. Maybe you won't get it, but it's still funny. Um, and I'm sure he'll show you mine, the video on his phone that he took of me being weird. And that's like the only two things we got the whole week, I feel like. Yeah. So, click down below or go back and click it. But um, that's all I really have to say. I had an awesome time and I really miss you, Paul. Don't know what I'm going to do. I'm actually really bored right now and I don't know what to do with myself anymore because I was so used to being up and doing something every day like the crossword or making breakfast or something and now there's nothing and I have no one to watch Big Brother with because no one in my house watch, watches Big Brother and my life is over <laughs> I'm really dramatic over dramatic actually also if my hair looks weird it's because the sun's right there and it's picking up everything on this side of my hair and there's people here doing work. I don't like that. Nope, I don't like that people are doing work right now because it's weird. I don't even know what they're doing. Probably something with a driveway. Anyway, so I'm gonna go. Just said anyway again. Gotta stop that. I'm gonna go. Have a great week, everybody. And Paul, I will see you on Thursday. And yeah. Okay. Bye.